Putting a hitch on your Ford Taurus can take you to some really cool places like biking, camping, or towing a small U-Haul trailer. Let's break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. First, we're gonna lower the exhaust. Before lowering the exhaust, we're gonna support it with the strap. This is held up by three rubber hangers here, here, and here. I'm going to remove the hangers using soapy water and exhaust pliers. Next, we're gonna be removing the exhaust hanger bracket on the driver's side using a 10 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna be removing the exhaust hanger bracket on the passenger side of the vehicle using an 18 millimeter socket. On the passenger side, the hitch is going to connect here and here. Now we're gonna take the provided carriage bolt and plate and fish wire it through our frame. On the driver's side, we are going to fish wire two carriage bolts here and here. Using the trim panel tool, we will be removing the two bumper beam tabs here and here. Next, we will enlarge the inner hole on both bumper beam brackets. Now we're gonna put the hitch in place using a U-Haul hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, you'll need an extra set of hands. The hitch can be heavy. Now we're gonna take our fish wire and run it through the hitch. On the driver's side, we're going to install the two flange nuts. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, we're gonna take our bolt and put it into our existing weld nut on the passenger side of the vehicle. Next, we're gonna take our handle nut, placing it on top of our bumper beam tab, aligning it with the holes. Now we're gonna take our provided bolt and screw it into the handle nut. And we'll repeat on the other side. We're gonna torque down the frame bolts using a 19 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna torque down the bumper beam bolts using a 16 millimeter socket. Now I'm gonna mount the bumper beam tabs to the pre-drilled hole on the bottom of the hitch. Now we will repeat on the other side. Now I'm ready to raise the exhaust. I'm starting with the passenger side. And last, the center hanger. Now that the hitch is complete, let's show you some important measurements. This is a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the bumper is six and a half inches. From the ground to the inside top of the receiver is 12 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for bike racks and cargo carriers. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the outdoors. Have fun and be safe. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.